Good morning. Okay, we are going to review the exponent units. Um, so we're just going to start with the basics of going over the six exponent rules or laws that I um, went with over with you over the course of the unit. Um, and then we are going to work on an assignment. Okay, so we've got the product rule that comes first. And we know that when we have bases that are the same, we can simply shortcut by adding the exponents. We keep the base the same and we add the exponents. Okay, so x to, to the power of 3, or x cubed as we call it, times, and remember it has to be a multiplication, that's why it's called the product rule, we have to be multiplying, times x to the exponent 8 is equal to x to the exponent 11. Okay, so the same thing here, 2 and 2, we've got bases that are the same, 2 to the raised to the exponent 4 times 2 raised to the exponent 2 is simply 2 to the exponent 6. And that is because this represents 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's what that exponent 4 means times 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. And we can shortcut this by adding the exponents because we can clearly see when you write it out like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We multiply 2 by itself 6 times. Okay, so this one here is a little bit harder, and you might remember this from the polynomial unit. Okay, so that sort of melded the two things together. We have x squared y times, we know it's times because it's brackets side by each, x cubed y to the exponent 4. So we can see that these bases are the same. So now we have x to the exponent 5, these bases are the same, and this is a great example of that invisible one. If there's no exponent written in there, it's a one, so one plus four is five. Okay, the quotient rule. So this comes into um, use when we are dividing, when we have bases that are the same. And because dividing is the opposite of multiplying, it makes sense that we are now going to subtract the exponents. So x to the exponent 5 divided by x squared becomes x to the exponent 3. And I'm going to give you an example of why that works like that. Okay, if we had this, you could see that we could cross this out and this out, and we're left with x to the exponent 3, or x cubed. 3 to the exponent 5 divided by 3 cubed, we would subtract the exponents and get 3 squared. Okay, and here's where we sort of moved into the polynomial unit. Another great example of an invisible 1. x squared divided by x is simply x, and y to the power of 5 divided by y cubed would be y squared. Okay, this one's really important to me. We talked a lot about the zero exponent rule. Any base except zero raised to the zero power is equal to one. So anything raised to the exponent zero is one. Six to the power of zero, one. And then all of this in brackets raised to the exponent zero, simply one. You don't have to worry about anything. Now there was one caveat. Okay, one thing that I wanted you to remember. If we had this, okay? Some people would say, well, that would be 1, but it's not, okay? It's really important that you remember that that is negative 1 because this is not negative 5 raised to the power of 0. This is subtract 5 raised to the power of 0, and the only thing being raised to the exponent is the 5, okay? I think in elementary school they talk about the exponents on the shoulder of the base, okay? So this isn't included. The only way that that could become a positive 1 is if we said that the negative 5 was in brackets, then the whole thing is being raised to the power of 0, and that would be 1. All right, we call this power rule, okay, when we have a power to a power, okay, so we have an exponent, and then right outside of the set of brackets, we have another exponent, what we're going to do is we are going to multiply those, okay, so the shortcut is we multiply them, why? Because this is x cubed, really, times x cubed, because it's x cubed squared, so then we could go back to this product rule, which is we add the exponent, so it's just another shortcut, okay, so here we would get 3 raised to the exponent 8, and here we would get z raised to the exponent 10. We would simply multiply those exponents. Okay, so expanded power rule. So this is important that you understand that this cube goes to this 2 and it also goes to the a. So we end up with 2 cubed, a cubed, which is, now we can do this because we know what 2 cubed is. It is 8. We can't do anything with the a because that's an unknown, right? It's a variable that we don't know. So this one here, 6 squared, and then x cubed squared, so we end up with 36x to the power of 6. And then here, okay, we've got this, it goes to this piece, to this piece, and then also to the bottom. So we end up with 8x cubed, and then 27, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27y to the power of 6. All right, negative exponents. This becomes really important for um, grade 10, okay? We don't work with negative exponents. There are simply two rules. We write the reciprocal, and if you remember, reciprocal means the flip. 
we write the reciprocal of the base and then the exponent becomes positive. So the example here is x raised to the negative three. Okay, remember that everything, no matter what is over one, so we just flip it, we have one over x cubed. Okay, if we have four to the negative two, we would write the reciprocal of that base, which would be one quarter, and then the exponent becomes positive, and we can work that one out simply. You could leave it in exponential form if you wanted, but they've just done this. There's my phone ringing. <laughs>